What do you do when you encounter hate speech? Well, nowadays, the best way to handle it when someone says something mean is to destroy their life. So I'm going to share with you three easy steps for dealing with hate speech that will help you accomplish that. But first, a couple things. Understand that hate speech is exquisitely defined as when someone says something that you don't like. You'll also need to have guru level awareness at making snap judgments about a person and their entire character after hearing one out of context statement they make that probably has nothing to do with you. The verdict? Always hate speech. And once that happens, you'll want to go on a witch hunt to destroy the hateful savage. Witch hunts are always 100% effective. That's why there's no witches anymore. And with that in mind, now you're ready for my three easy steps for dealing with hate speech. Step one, victimize yourself. Make it all about you by telling the world how hurt you are by the words of the other person that wasn't talking to you. Sticks and stones might break your bones, but words are a spear right through your heart. Step two, vilify them. Tell them what they meant by the words they said. Then start a movement against this person by creating a hashtag. That'll continuously reinforce your victimhood while progressively vilifying them as you open-mindedly share one side of the story. Step three, crucify them. You'll want to report them on all their social media accounts trying to get them shut down, followed by relentlessly posting about their hateful ways on your accounts. And then try to get them fired and all future opportunities taken away from them by manipulatively lumping anyone who associates with them into the category of a hateful, racist, sexist person who's part of a pedophilia ring and hates puppies. Those people will want to avoid that classification, which means they'll have to avoid the person whose life you're trying to ruin, which will help ruin their life. Easy as that. Now let's put all this into practice with a working example of a hateful person, Michelle Obama. She recently wrote a book called Becoming. Now this is clearly a microaggression against the illiterate community. I can't think of anything more hateful. Ah, oh, the pain! I don't know how to read. Writing a book, how could you be so insensitive? There's no pictures. Michelle, you hate me. Michelle, you hate people who can't read. You're not being inclusive to the illiterate community, and that means you hate us and want us all to die, you dangerous monster. Hashtag, I can't read either. Can you spell I can't read either for me? Michelle Obama is pro Bill Cosby, and she's promoting the genocide of all illiterate people. Go to your local bookstore and demand they stop selling your book. And send Twitter a message demanding they deplatform her. Then write Barack a letter demanding he divorce this hateful woman, or else it means he's collaborating with ISIS to kill illiterate people in front of their stupid picture book reading families. <laughs> That's the magic of transformation. Her life is destroyed, which means you've successfully dealt with hate speech with your hate. And remember, the more people you can get on board with your emotionally charged outrage, the better. If you can spread your outrage to other people like a healthy version of AIDS, then your three easy steps for dealing with hate speech will always be successful most of the time. What's up my weird friends? Thanks for hanging with me for this video. I also wanted to let you know I've got live comedy shows coming up in Denver, Dallas, Austin, Portland, and new cities are being added to the schedule all the time. Just click the link in the description below to check out and come see me live. Also, I want to let you know I've got my I'm Offended limited edition t-shirts available only until February 13th. If you want to grab one, you can grab it via the other link in the description below. See you next time.